What's up everybody? Uh, today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use my ECDP Discord Rich Presence. Um, so first, uh, there's a couple different ways on how to use this. Um, I feel like a more common way would just be to use the EXE that I compiled. Um, you do have to have, have this ICO in the same folder as the EXE or else it will not run. You also have to make sure that you run the pre-install bot bat before you um, run uh, any of the scripts. So, yeah. I'll go in here and I'll go in here. Now, the thing about the EXE is that it will not look as good as some other things. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm just going to turn off my brightness filter here. So yeah, this is what this looks like. This is what the console part looks like, and it looks ugly because it doesn't use the color codes properly. But it still works. So I'm just going to... Um, pull up my discord here it's going to take a while so here you can see i have it it defaults to saying in menus um but i can go challenge the mcdonald's and it will switch self study um oh that's not good i think it's just cuz i'm recording this my computer can't really handle it Maybe the EXE has some downs. I don't know. I'm just going to close this or crash it on purpose. Um, if your thing does crash, your terminal will close automatically. If um, I'll open this back up real quick. Okay. So here is this and this. So this will do that. It'll say status updated. It has changed my status. Um, let's move this over. Okay. And uh, so self-study, SOC guide, and self-check. Uh, you, if you press this button, uh, the thing will go away, but the console will stay up. So you're going to have to do a keyboard interrupt, which you can just do control and C and it will close it automatically or you could press the X button um, at the top but it is not recommended I guess alright and uh, so the exit it will automatically close it properly with uh, closing the connections and everything it on the EXE it might have some troubles um, exiting the console. Uh, I haven't figured this out yet, but uh, yeah, it says there exit. Um, my favorite way of going about doing this is actually just going, er, and you can get the Windows terminal. Um, getting the Windows uh, terminal is my favorite way. So I'm just going to CD into here. Oh, I totally went to the wrong place. Oh, right, I have to put quotes over this. I still mess that up somehow. I also still mess that up somehow. There. If that doesn't work. Okay. And then, um, so Python, and then the script, which is this. It has color codes. It works with color codes. It does have the thing. It shows up. Um, and that, that, that. And it exit does work on it. It works properly. <sighs> um, and yeah, color codes work, so that's nice. It does not exit the whole program, though. It just exits the script. Um, 
so you can resume your script and then you can also press X um, another way let's see we just click uh, CMD oh come on uh, similar uh, yeah easy way to uh, CD into directories is just copying this all you have to do is just click once up here and you can copy it's a little life hack okay and you can also use tab so you can see here that by uh, just running it alone it will bring up this you can probably open it up with something like Python uh, itself oh that crashed but it still is running the script I'm sure it will stop eventually just checking my yeah okay there we go um, so yes you have to do Python if you do pi um, it still works um, color codes still don't work though <coughs> and honestly like Windows Terminal overall it's just nicer it has a nicer UI and um, I think it's uh, better for computers to use uh, in terms of performance so yeah that's that way um, you can also do Python um, and it will go like normal and um, yeah that's that's the rich presence I hope you guys enjoyed oh, let this disconnect um, another thing I'm just gonna close that okay another thing uh, this is all up on my GitHub. I'll find it real quick. Yeah, this one right here. Um, so yeah, the thing I'll, I'm I'm actually gonna have to update this because I changed some code. And it has the pre-install bat and the icon. Um, I'll make a release for the .exe if you feel like using it. Um, Windows Terminal is the way to go. I'm just gonna say that now. You can literally get it by searching up here. Windows Terminal. And it will show up. You can apparently also get Ubuntu for free and a couple other things. But um, I like this. This is my favorite. Wow, this is actually going to load. Um. Yeah, you can get it from the Win uh, the Microsoft Store. I like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna launch it real quick. Actually, another thing you can do. Um, hold on. Yes, yeah, so this is yeah. This is the PowerShell. You can actually have a couple different things like the command prompt, but the PowerShell is what I like best seems to work best um, you can color it rename it so like and then just have it run 24 7 if you want I don't recommend that though um, yeah uh, so yeah that is my discord rich presence I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned from it um, if you want to know how to make a batch for, uh, for starting it in Windows Terminal, instead of going in and whatever, this is a simple one. As long as you have this, and then Python, and then your, uh, file path with this. This is for my other Rich Presence, but it works just as fine. I'll test that here. It will pop.
pop up like this. Oh, I, I moved the file so it isn't working. Or I think I renamed it. Or no, it's just in a new folder. Um, but yeah, that is it. Um, my GitHub will be in the description. <sighs> and yeah, that's that's all.